Hey everybody, welcome to John Anthony Lifestyle. This is John Anthony. Today, by popular request, we are going to go over the fundamentals of weightlifting, okay? The exercises you do in the gym and the food that you eat, okay? So just a quick little preface. I am down, I don't even remember by pounds anymore, but I'm down like five kilograms. It's probably roughly over 10 pounds. Um, I had food poisoning and then a fever from a sickness that was going on in Poland and then uh, sex frenzy, all of which caused me to <laughs> delay the amount of calories I was eating. Before we continue, please press the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. Make sure you press the notification bell so that you are alerted to my new videos Sunday through Thursday, five days a week, okay? They're all very value packed, keeping the quality very high on this channel in 2019, okay? So, the three body types. There are ectomorphs, mesomorphs, and endomorphs, all right? So ectomorphs, they have a high metabolism. They're burning a lot of calories. It's guys that are typically very skinny and can eat whatever they want. Okay, on the other end of the spectrum, endomorphs, those are guys that are gaining weight very fast. Even if they eat small quantities, they're gaining weight and muscle really fast, okay? Now this is all a math equation. Really, that's what it boils down to. So for every 3,500 calories in surplus of your basal metabolic rate, Okay, we'll put that little term down here. Basal metabolic rate, we all have a metabolism and that is burning calories at a certain rate, okay? A certain amount of calories per day. And the basal metabolic rate plus the amount that we burn our expenditure through exercise, okay? Which can include walking, can include um, weight training, etc. That number, okay, once we have an excess of 3,500, it's going to gain a pound. When we have a deficit of 3,500, it's gonna lose a pound, okay? So if you want to lose weight, you need to simply eat less and work out more. If you want to gain weight, you need to simply eat a lot more, okay? It doesn't mean not work out because it burns calories because you need to be training the muscles so that they grow bigger. Regardless of your body type, me personally, I'm an ectomorph, okay? So I've never been fat, I've never been overweight in my life. I can eat pretty much whatever I want and I have to eat in a pretty significant caloric surplus in order to gain weight. All right, so now I'm gonna go over a standard five-day workout plan, okay, that focuses on a different major muscle group each of the five days. This was devised by Sonny Arvado, a former business partner of mine. Now keep in mind, you wanna be doing eight to 10 repetitions. Once you hit 10, you wanna move up in weight, okay, and you wanna be doing three to four sets, which means three to four repetitions of each of these exercises. Make sure you really concentrate on the form. Okay, watch YouTube videos if you're not sure of how to do the form. Okay, and as a disclaimer, this is all just advice. Okay, you need to make sure so you don't injure yourself. You're watching YouTube videos, you're not using weight that's too heavy for you that's going to cause injuries. And you should be slowing things down in the negative. Okay, you rip more muscle fibers by doing the negative. Okay, so if you're doing chest press, Boom, exhale, and then down two to three seconds. <sighs> exhale, down two to three seconds, okay? And that's the kind of the rep timing that you want. Let's go over day one. It happens to deal with chest, all right? So what he's doing here, what he's included, is you're working multiple body parts per day with a focus on one major muscle group that's allowing the body to recover and grow in that off time, okay? So you're working the major, this, this workout is geared around building the glory body parts, okay? Which happens to be the traps, is up here, when you do shrugs, it's building your traps so you have a wider frame, okay? It's focused on decline bench, your lower chest, okay? So that when you're wearing a shirt, you fill out the shirt more, and it's also focused on triceps. Triceps, I think, are around 60% of your muscle in your arm. It's focused on the back part of your arm, which is the triceps, okay? Chest, decline barbell bench press, incline Smith machine. The Smith machine is that machine that's, it's, it restricts motion forward and backward, okay? So you can only go up and down, okay? If you see, we'll put a picture up. If you see like the, the barbell press, that's, you can't move forward or backward, okay? It's just on a rack going straight up and down, that's Smith, Smith machine. So you're doing decline barbell, you're doing incline Smith machine barbell, you're doing flat fly, okay, which is with dumbbells, the flies, we'll put pictures of each of these things up, 
and you're doing a cable cross. Then for traps, you're doing machine shrug or dumbbell shrug. For your biceps, you're doing 21s. So 21s is, imagine I have a barbell on my arms. I'm doing seven, I'll sit on my tiptoes for the camera, seven in the lower part of the curl and then seven in the top part of the curl, okay? And then I'm doing seven total, all back to back. So make sure you find a weight where you can do seven of the lower part, seven of the upper, and then seven back to back all the way through. And then triceps, skull crushers, where you're laying on your back, you're bringing the barbell down to your head, all the way up, down to your head, all the way up, okay? And then also throwing in there is leg extensions, where you're sitting down and lifting the weights out, and your abs. So the primary focus is chest, but you're also working your biceps, your tries, and your abs and your legs, okay? Day two, mostly focus on back. So you're doing pull-up, heavy lat pull-downs, okay? So you're pulling down like this. You're also doing dumbbell rows where you're bent over and you're lifting them up with the dumbbell. Heavy cable row where you're sitting down and pulling the weight towards you. Deadlift, okay? We'll put up pictures of each of these things. And you're working traps again, machine shrug or dumbbell shrug. Biceps, you're doing 21s or cable concentration curls. We'll put up examples of this. Basically, you're coming up like this with the bicep and then skull crushers down to your head again. Leg extension, four sets of that. So work in the eight to 10 rep range. Once you can do 10 repetitions with perfect form, okay, so if I'm doing chest press, once I can do 10 repetitions all the way up with perfect form, then I'm gonna move up in weight. Okay, so you wanna make sure you can do 10 repetitions of perfect form, then you move up in weight. All right, day three is legs. You want to do leg extension, Smith machine squat, and then slow leg press. All right, for hamstrings, you want to do the stiff leg deadlift and hamstring curls. For calves, which is the lower part of your leg on the back, you want to do seated calf raise and horizontal calf raise. Day four, you're focusing on arms. For triceps, you want to do the rope extension. So you're pulling down, boom, it's hitting, there's three parts of your tricep, you're hitting all three parts like that. You want to do skull crushers back to your forehead and machine dips, all right? Where you're lifting yourself up on those bars. Then for biceps, you want to be doing 21s, seven in the lower, seven in the upper, seven total. And then cable concentration curls, machine preacher curls, okay, where you're pulling up, hitting the bicep. Hammer curls, you're holding a dumbbell in your hand, you're bringing it up straight up like this. Barbell wrist curls, okay, that's gonna work on your forearms. And then also machine shrugs. All right, so you're gonna be hitting those traps. Day five, your shoulders. You wanna be doing reverse pec deck. You're gonna be doing one arm machine row, dumbbell laterals, and then barbell or dumbbell press. Traps, you wanna be doing machine shrugs or dumbbell shrugs, okay? The other big thing you wanna be doing is tracking everything, okay? So you wanna be tracking how much weight you lifted on a given week. So you can use an app like Google Keep and it will show you like a notes file and you can put in like, here's the exercise, here's how much I lifted. And then when you get to the next week, you either can do that same weight, okay, so you can hit the 10 total, or you can move up in weight and then track how many you're able to lift that weight. But that's gonna allow you to keep progressing by tracking how much you're able to lift, okay? In terms of the eating, you wanna be getting at least one gram of protein per pound of body weight, okay? And the amount of calories that you get, you're gonna to wanna to calculate that based off your basal metabolic rate, which you can do with some weight machines or some services can calculate that for you. You want to know how much are you burning and how much do you need to eat. So as an example, let's say you're burning 2,000 calories as your basal metabolic rate, okay? And every day you're eating 2,500, okay? Not even factoring in the exercise amount that's causing you to burn calories. If you're getting 500 surplus seven days a week, it's not even counting the exercise that you're doing. That's going to amount to a pound per week for how much you're gaining, okay? So I hope this video was useful. This is basically a game plan to focus on the glory body parts, the parts that are gonna be the most attractive to women, the most aesthetically pleasing. I hope you guys are able to utilize this, okay, and grow bigger. And make sure you're eating enough, make sure you're drinking enough water, and make sure you are continuously improving and increasing the amount of weight that you're lifting. 
okay? If you haven't subscribed, please press the subscribe button below. Make sure you press the like button and also the notification bell so you're alerted to my new videos every week. And thank you for watching. This is John Anthony. Take care.